Anyone else notice that Steve has decided to wear a Bluetooth? <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite. Thank you, Danny. Oh, no. Is he? Yeah, because this is a very corporate place, and all of a sudden, Steve is like corporate guy with a Bluetooth, but, and with, what else? And, and no sleeves. <laughs> but, <laughs> but Steve, Steve obviously has no idea what a Bluetooth does, because yesterday, he was, or, you know, Friday, whatever, he was walking around with his Bluetooth in his right ear and his cell phone on his left ear, <laughs> <laughs> which does not... Steve has totally changed his whole look for yes. the corporate guy. He, he's finally made it in, into the uh, into 2001 with his <laughs> with his Bluetooth and his phone, which uses a stylus. <laughs> we don't really think his Bluetooth works, though. We think it's all show. Yeah, he spells it B L E W. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, what is that? He's walking around with it hanging out of his ear. No, who does that these days? <laughs> now they're selling that. You sure there's one of those uh, amplification things that look like a Bluetooth? <laughs> oh, really? Are they doing that, too? Oh, it's great. Yeah, we're going to need yeah. those soon. Show a bunch of old fogies sitting around with those things sticking out of their ears. All right, this these are some of the people who are peeking. Ooh, right. peekers. Right. Oh, someone's rolling a cart down the hallway here. Uh, yeah, full of equipment us. and stuff. Yeah, these are Hello. people. What's Hi. your name? What was that? Kim. Kim, what do you do here at Sirius XM? I'm an electrician. Oh, cool. I'm Sam from the Opie and Anthony show. I like to interview people in the hallway when we move somewhere. That way we get to know the neighbors. Okay, that's cool. Do you like being here at Sirius XM? I love it. How come oh, people aren't it. coming down this hallway anymore? I don't know. Probably because Opie and Anthony down here now. I'm going to get harassed. Oh, what do you mean harassed? Okay. We're just meeting people. I thought this was like, this is inter-office mingling. It's what happens in corporate America. Oh, yeah, but if people, you know, you might have some people that are, like, a little intimidated by that. Aunt Sam, ask if the word about us here is not good. <laughs> what, what's the word about Opie and Anthony? Is it not good? Yes, yeah, not good. <laughs> oh, damn. See, I knew it. Thank you very much. All right. At least she's honest. Yeah. Finally, some honesty. Yeah, all right. What about the other guy, Sam? You didn't want him? He's gone now. Okay. Oh, man. Very good. The word is not good. Not good. <laughs> of course not. That's, that's great. That's like the, fantastic. Like the dicks that we thought they are, they are. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> bothering everyone in the hallway. Yeah. Being pains uh, in the asses. God damn, man. I just don't get it. Why? Why? Look at Mars setting up. Yeah. Mars is now setting out <laughs> more wire. <laughs> This is go this can go all the way down the hallway now yeah. and, and get those people that are trying to hide. Sam is easily forty feet down the, the hallway. <laughs> yeah. Who needs wireless? <laughs> oh my God, we got so much wireless. <laughs> it's to repel down the side of the building <laughs> and with fire. There he goes. Alright. He's just fixing it up. Oh Jesus. What's wrong, Sam? I knew we just we had a bad yeah, rap. We, we get, get a bad right. rap. Well, don't forget, we were attacking this company, and they were attacking us for a long time. Yes, we were, you know, enemies. We were across the street. Mm -hmm. Now we're just happy to be part of the mm -hmm. merger slash rape. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, she got a flat screen TV on there. What happened? They're taking someone's TV out. Someone's oh, been oh, fired. Geez. No, that just <laughs> actually looks like. Got gotcha. <laughs> whose, whose flat screens are those? These are for you guys. Oh, fantastic. Uh, What's your name, sir? My name is Albert. Is that a heavy TV? Uh, no, it's light. it's light. Oh, good for you. Someone should be following them with some Heineken. <laughs> <laughs> it, bring, it, brings up, it brings up something else. We're uh, such dicks. We demand so much. We, we have Just let them touch it! We have eight TVs in here, Yeah. and they're giving us another two in our office, and there are other people that work for SiriusXM mm. very mad at the amount of TVs that we have. Yeah. Extremely mad. <laughs> we need all these. What's up, Mars? Cut six for a second. Why? I like hearing this dumb banter between you no, two. No, it's the pop that it's going to make when oh, they okay. unplug it. All right. Might damage some of the equipment. I got Ooh, you. Oh, that got quiet. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they make a lot of noise out in that hallway. They sure do. A bunch of fucking nosy Nancys <laughs> peeking their heads in our studio. Trotting about. They got binoculars down the hall, and they're that, taking um, a look at us. Is that one of our interns? Who? That little... <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Okay. That was not me. Oh, he said to turn it back up now. Was that Danny? Yeah. yeah. All right, just, Danny. Shoot the Jeez, this is just going to be a stink fucking room. <laughs> I Sam, know it. Where are we at? I had a lot of Easter eggs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> Sam? We are uh, making our way down the hallway where all the people are. What a tangled mess oh, of yeah. wire now. They didn't Stop unroll it good uh, oh, in, a, in, a, right. in a responsible manner. Now it's all tangled up. I couldn't see, but now I can. This okay. Is... This glass window is the worst thing that could possibly happen. Yeah. <laughs> no, we got, we got uh, curtains and stuff. We told them we were just going to come in here and mess around today. We're just meeting some people. That's all. It's corporate America. It's called mingling. Hey, we got a copy machine here? Uh, I'm sure we do somewhere. That's where people hang out, with the copy oh, machine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's true. Let's go photograph our balls and asshole. That's what I'm getting at. <laughs> Who wants to throw out the first balls and asshole on the copy machine? <laughs> I'm going to pass being that it's right outside Bladder's office. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, it is? <laughs> Pretty much. Oops. I know where nothing is here, by I the way. I have no idea. I've been lost for 40 minutes. I don't know where minutes. anything is. Sam? I think I pissed in the traffic studio. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like the headphone wire is in a heck of a knot, but we're undoing it now. Okay. okay. Language. That's right. Yeah, the, the, I knew. I knew when I saw Mars walk down with that uh, big thing of wire, it was just going to be a, <laughs> a big mess. Mm -hmm. How far can you get? What, what are those people doing down at the end of the hall? Those oh. are the ones that don't want to come this way. So we're going. Who to are them. they? I don't know. We're going to find out. Yeah, we're going to get there as long as we can get this headphone wire all sorted out. <laughs> it really is a whole fucking collection of people down at the end who just won't come this way. <sighs> yeah, like halfway down the building, is a metal railing. That kind of, I guess the hallway is over there. I don't even know. Yeah, that I don't to, know where I am in the fucking building. You hit that railing, you take a left, then another right, and then another right, you got the bathroom. At, past the railing, it gets really douchey. The elevators. It gets really you douchey. Get out of here. With corporate guys. <laughs> I'm going to need to know how to make a beeline out of this joint. <laughs> I can't wait till Sam stops somebody and goes, what's the haps? And the guy goes, what do you mean? I'm metal. <laughs> we fire Sam on the spot. Oh, we'll take joy in that one. Why? <laughs> oh, sorry, Sam. I can hear you. Oh. That's what the headphone wire is for. <laughs> oh, someone's coming up behind you. Who's oh. that? That's one of our interns sash sash sashaying. No, alerted you. We can't oh, tell because they're so far away. Excuse me, sir. What's your name? Paul. Paul, what do you do uh, here at Sirius XM? I'm an uh, imaging producer. Oh, oh, what what channels do you image produce? I do uh, a bunch. I do Shade 45, Heart and Soul, Outlaw Country. Shade 45, that's our neighbor. I'm Sam from the Opie and Anthony show. How you doing? So do you like it? That's Opie, and that's hey. Anthony, and that's Jim Norton. Right. And that is Danny. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Welcome. Wow. We're just meeting everyone here. Do you like it here at Sirius XM? I do. How long do you think it'll be before it's just Sirius again? <laughs> Never. Really? Never. <laughs> Sam, ask him, did people know that we were coming to the facility? Did people know in advance that we were coming to the facility? Uh, I did, because I'm right, I work right there, so I've been uh, seeing you guys do all the construction. What's the vibe been like, positive or quite negative? Uh, positive, of course. <laughs> really? <laughs> no. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. no. <laughs> people don't uh, want us I here. I want all the TVs you guys got in there. I'm, I'm jealous. Yeah, we got eight TVs. Yeah, we there. we're hoarding. <laughs> we're hoarding the TVs. We really are. <laughs> yeah, we keep the same channel on a few of them just because we like it. <laughs> no, it's the same channels. We're I told even... them in my contract I don't crook my neck more than seven degrees <laughs> to look at a television. How many TVs do the other studios have, Sam? That have been here for years. Hey, how many studios? I mean, how many TVs do the other studios have? I have no idea. I know I have none. So. Oh. <laughs> How about in Shade 45, one of the big channels here? Uh, maybe a couple, I don't know. Eight? Mm. No, no. Eight? <laughs> we have eight. And also, <laughs> we have two offices, and each office has two televisions. So we got ten yeah, total so far. We have no, ten 12, TVs. No. I hear twelve we go, TVs. I hear we're going up to twelve, right? Yes. So Sam, yeah. e Even ev it. everyone that walks by, I want you to tell them that we have two offices and twelve televisions. <laughs> That's what you tell everybody, and then you say who you are. <laughs> Jim Norton was just saying we have two offices. Well, he knows. He can hear me. I, I, but it's got to be emphasized. Oh. Again, two offices and 12 televisions. <laughs> we really have 12 televisions. Yeah. <laughs> How come people don't like the Opie and Anthony show here? Well, yeah, we don't understand. I know where the, their studio is, so I'm going to come take one when you're not in there. Well, we're worried Ooh. about those guys over there, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> They're bolted to the wall. <laughs> Oh, very secure. Have you have you asked him if he's met Eminem here? Have you met Eminem working at Shade Forty Five? No, I've seen him. When How does he times? DJ? Yeah. Uh, never. <laughs> no, I think his contract uh, uh, says he has to DJ know. one time every year. Really? <laughs> Pretty much. Is it more or less than one time a year? 
Uh, I'm going to say every day. Uh, wow. Uh, I'll say less. So I don't get in trouble, yeah. Yeah, you got to be, be good. Don't, don't lose your job. You're doing a good job not losing your job today. I know, I'm trying. Does he try to walk quickly past out <laughs> cue? I, I know. <laughs> ask him how bad he wants to leave. <laughs> how I'm bad? Gonna go. I'm going to go now. Oh, he's <laughs> leaving now. I couldn't ask him. Yeah. So, Sam, remember. Hi, uh, I'm Sam from the Opie and Anthony Show. It's our first day here. And this is what we have. Okay. <laughs> Two offices. So far. And 12 TVs. But yeah. say so far. So, so far, so yeah. people understand that we yeah. are expecting a lot more than what we currently I, have. The wall behind Anthony, I would like some visual <laughs> stimulation on it. It's just a beige wall. I'm not happy. We it is very, very empty. we got to turn this into the situation room. Yeah. Just tickers or, and more TVs. Well, I guess it is, yeah. <laughs> Sam, are you ready to go down the hall? Yeah, let's go see if we can go down a little bit. We have Charlie the intern, and Evan the intern, and Jill the intern. Fucking Evan. Mm -hmm. Evan walks like more of a girl than Jill does. Yeah, the dumb private pile face of his. Is that an insult to Evan or Jill? Evan. All right. Just <laughs> Evan. making sure. Jill has an odd walk. Does she? Yeah. Kenny's coming with a special treat. Oh. oh. Kenny's got your grapes. Oh, thank he's, God. He's been He's going to be presenting the grave. They, He's been walking down the hall with the grave. <laughs> you don't realize how. Where did Kenny get the grave? Oh, where did get... Kenny? Where did you get? <laughs> no! Oh, oh, that would have sucked. <laughs> Damn it, I missed it. I went to swat it out of Kenny's hand and I missed Kenny, where where did you get the grapes? You're allowed to talk today. Can I have one Anthony? Yeah, take no. it down to street level. Really? Yeah, from a street vendor. Uh, were people annoyed as you're walking by them with the grapes? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, they don't realize what fancy men you are. Yeah. You don't realize how, how much of a bunch of assholes we are until, like, you, we have to do all this stuff in front of people. Don't put yourself <laughs> down, G.H. G.H. <laughs> all right. Sam. <laughs> yes. Wow, look how far he is now. This yeah, is as, as far as my headphones will take me. Yeah, this is it. But your mic can go further, right? Yes. Mm. Oh, we're getting another headphone oh cable. My God. How much cable? Do you... And describe the scene. How, how, how I can't far see, is Sam? I right can't now? really. I wouldn't be able to tell that was Sam without his yeah. wacky hair. He's that far away. Thank God for that. Then he's way down the hall. There's two cables running down the hallway. Yeah. One for his headphones, I guess. One for the mic. They are now um, putting an extra one on the headphone cable so he can. Go even further. Yeah. Why couldn't we just run the cables from our old studio to here? <laughs> At this point, like, yeah. That would have been nice. Yeah. Just to stay there and run some cable. All right. All right. He's he's working on. It. How come no one will come down this hallway? Because I've um, been listening to the show, no one likes us. It's amazing. We're not liked. Hated is more accurate. Yeah. Like it's so weird. We're just not liked. <laughs> but we didn't. Do, it's our first day. And we already have cooties in school. We should have Tippy Tom walking up and down these hallways already. Oh, <laughs> would that be fantastic? We're like the kid that threw up in, in at lunch. <laughs> it just sticks with you. Where's the open at the studio? Just How you doing? Just wandering around. I'm out. Tippy Tom. <laughs> just stinking up the entire place. Oh boy, do I not want him in the studio? <laughs> oh, in here, dude. It would be a gas chamber. You'd have to be in the in the fucking in Travis's little area back there. Yes, yeah. beyond the glass. Yeah, we'll figure something but out. Out cue, <laughs> out pew. <laughs> Actually, we're we're working on our 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 next hippie Tom bit. Yeah, he's gonna be doing some wine tasting. All right. Yeah, I got a sophisticated palate. It's ninety-one points. <laughs> it's a smooth little wine. Yeah. <laughs> This smells like a uh, dumpster, 14th Street. <laughs> Wait, what is that? Uh, nice color. It's like when I got kicked in the kidneys and was <laughs> urinating for a week. <laughs> All right, uh, thumbs up. Cut off six for a second. Cut, right, off six. Cut, off. Cut off six. All right, six is off. Ooh, can we get that? Mm -hmm. Nice silence. I like the, I like the hallway noise. It's kind of nice. Yeah. A little ambient sound. Oh, my God. I, I see more wires. How far are we taking this? Bernie Williams from the Yankees is releasing an album or something. He's playing. He's yeah, playing. don't talk to him that he's um, Bernie Williams, though. He's been doing he the music. He's very mad and he wants oh, to ask you a question. Oh, he's a good guitar player. Yeah. 
a, a jazz guy. Is he? Is he? Yeah, he. Let's get him in. Plays jazz guitar. Oh, we. Oh, oh that's why. That was okay. Good. Uh, his 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 wife was that one that sat behind home plate with that goddamn ding 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 ding, making a noise when uh, the other people would come up to bat. That was Bernie's wife. Yes. Oh yeah. How embarrassing. Oh, how what an annoying bitch. Bang 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 bang. bang. Shut up. Why didn't he tell her? Stop it. Uh, she probably wears the pants of the family. What's going on there? Can you hear me? Yeah. I think we hooked up too many wires. I think there's so many wires now. I think there's a little resistance problem going on. A, a few too many connections, a little too much wire for the signal to travel through without a boost. Yeah. I'm almost at our office, which is a 100 feet or more away from the studio. It's at least 100. That I mic was say. not made to be hooked up to that many cables. You can tell. We are way down the hall now. It needs We're an Sam extra... It needs some extra of voltage. <laughs> yes. Now what, Sam? Well, I don't now everyone ran away from there. Can you give me another one? Everybody, when I came here, as I was walking down the hall, two people jumped into these voiceover studios. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah? I don't know if they're actually recording their voices or not. Press your balls against the window. <laughs> like bat wings. <laughs> Someone is suggesting we uh, set up detour signs so they have to come this way. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Well, well, no, no Anything one. think Sam? There's Troy. I'm right by Troy's desk. Yeah, Troy. He's an all right dude. Hey, Troy. He means the city in upstate New York. Come here. <laughs> Come here, Troy. They want to talk it's to you. A long cable. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? They're setting up another wire. No way. Why? For real. It's gonna get more crackling for real. Okay. They had, they gave me more headphones. All right. Oh, there he goes. He's going to be out of view now. Yeah. Because he's going around that corner. Mm -hmm. He is so far away. <laughs> we have never, we have never had anybody this <laughs> far away with a wired mic. <laughs> okay, I'm sitting down at Troy's desk with Troy. <laughs> so, Troy, what are you doing here nope, today? Nope. Nope. Just hanging out. Uh, join the show. Sam, this is opening show. line. Wrong. Oh. Um. Oh, I'm sorry. How could I have forgotten? Hi, Troy. I'm Sam from the Opie and Anthony show. We have two offices and 12 TVs so far. How are you? I know. It's been quite an ordeal getting them all to work, but uh, I guess they're, they're they're putting the last two in right now. Ask if he has any TVs. I see here at your workstation you have a lot of gadgets. How many TVs do you have? Unfortunately, none, but I'm going to come in and uh, watch your guys' TV, if that's all right. Well, we have 12. I know. I know. Quite impressive. For real, we have 12 TVs. Seriously, we have, <laughs> we have 12. It's not an exaggeration. If you count <laughs> all in the studio and in our two offices, we have a total of 12 flat screen HD TVs. It's crazy. Buster. It's craziness. And on all those 12 TVs, we only watch four different channels. Oh, yeah. I don't. How many channels do you watch on your TV here at your desk? Absolutely none. I'm, I'm staring at a uh, profit screen right now. You don't have a TV. No. That's right, I don't. Tomorrow, we have 12. Oh, screen. Tomorrow on all 12 TVs, I want the Yule Log. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow, Opie is going to play the Yule Log on all 12 of his TVs. Are you going to have anything to play the Yule Log on? Unfortunately, no. They should put it out in the lobby, too. The Yule Log? We have more TVs than the lobby. Yeah, I know. We have two offices. I know, it's crazy. Tell them we have so many TVs so the talent doesn't have to crank their necks. <laughs> the reason that we have, a lot of people have been saying, why do you guys have 12 TVs? It's because the talent, Opie, Anthony, and Jim Norton, doesn't like to crick their necks. It's understandable. I mean, you know, you got to deliver radio gold, so you don't want to hey, stray too far out. If uh, Troy understands, you should start telling him that we need some of his space. Listen, Troy, um... I see you do have a really nice station here, but you have a lot of space for one for one person, don't you think? Yeah, Just send somebody over here. Somebody else can join. Mm. Well, I mean, because your desk is close to our office, so if we kind of brought our knock office, out, knock this state workstation out, and it'll give you guys a little more room. So maybe your your office your desk here could be half the size. That's fine. I'll slide down one. I'll go down there. Well, this is thrilling banter. Yeah. Way to know uh, when to, you know, bail, Sam. Good idea. That's where right. Paulie is. Right. <laughs> All right, Troy. <laughs> Look at Mars running the 100-yard sprint. 
<laughs> Mars' hair doesn't even bounce when he runs. What creepy <laughs> hair Mars has? Man, he just ran down the hall. I... He was running forever. What the hell is going on in this place? E Rock is telling me that Kane is in one of the voice booths. Oh, I, we're fans of Kane. I know he was at. Uh, he did well at WrestleMania last weekend. Who's Kane? What oh. was he doing at WrestleMania, oh, wait. sir? Uh, not Kane, the uh, the music jock. I only know one Kane. Oh, this, see, he this doesn't look like Kane. He no. thinks it's Kane from oh, wrestling, no, but it's it's the the jock. It's Kane from Old Nation. Yes, used it to work is. At K Rock. It's Kane from Old Nation. Used to work at Ethel. He's in Studio 30, which is much smaller than our studio. I see that. Really? All right, we're going to take a break, uh, Sam. Okay. Yeah, and we're going to regroup. We're going to get to know more people here at Sirius XM. Wait, oh, do you think that Sam's Troy interview is boring? Oh, boy, do I. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Sam's Troy boring. interview stinks. That was <laughs> fucking horrible. The lemon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what it was. Ugh. A lemon. <laughs> Troy was just going with everything, and you know, come on, Sam. What could I do here? Well, we'll have to find somebody else. You're gonna have to. Yeah, this guy. Yeah, Everybody oh, wants me now. Oh, oh, some guy just opened. Hello, sir. What's your name? Jim. Jim. Uh, I'm Sam from the Opie and Anthony Show. We have <laughs> a studio and two offices and 12 TVs. So far. So far. How many TVs do you have here at Sirius? There's just one monitor in this room. Tell me, maybe taking that soon. <laughs> now, if we needed to take that monitor for our office. No. I got to do a show. I got to go. Oh, he's got to. <laughs> he's <laughs> shutting the door. Oh, <laughs> he would not happy. <laughs> if I got to take that <laughs> monitor. Hey, let them know, like, whatever their thing is, say the rumor is we're getting your TV. <laughs> Tell them that. The rumor is we're getting that. Yeah. Okay. Holy shit. We're not going to be happy until this whole wall is yeah. <laughs> covered with everyone else's TV. The talent doesn't like to crank their necks, and the talent likes a lot of visual stimulation. <laughs> we gotta get this, this is why everybody's in such a crabby mood. Yeah. yeah. I thought people were opening their... Uh, voiceover studios to talk yeah kenny is is lumbering outside the voiceover studios and knocking on doors while people are trying to oh, do shows. <laughs> oh that's gonna be trouble people forgot to have uh, you know fun. fun thank you jimmy yeah they forgot to have fun it's radio <laughs> all right should we break or uh yeah. interview this guy again oh hello sir what was your name again Not again <laughs> How many TVs do you have? <laughs> <laughs> he goes, Sam, did he, he say, say not again? He yes. not again. He said not again. Oh, we're making friends. Shade has like, I think four, but three of them are on shoulders. <laughs> oh. Good morning, sir. What's your name? Oh, Louie. Louie, I'm Sam from the Opie and Anthony show. We have two offices and 12 TVs. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. You got caught up on our cables. We have a lot of cables as well, but more TVs. How many TVs do you have in your studio here? None. What do you? What kind of studio is this here? Um, I do mostly uh, chiropractic chiropractic work here. Oh, on the that's... radio? What? I see you have a drum set in the studio. If we needed to take that, because the rumor is we would need a drum set for our studio, you wouldn't put up too much of. <laughs> He said he was going to shoot me, and then he walked into the studio. Oh. Yeah, he just kind of wanted to avoid you. Shut the I think door that's the guy face. that does jingles for the I whole I think place. so, yeah. too. He seemed like a, a nice jingle guy. guy. For real. It's Do just, they? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> a jingle guy? We're setting up more wires, by the way. Cool. <laughs> oh so my we God, can reach out every single person going. here. <laughs> how, how much more wire, Sam? Um, <laughs> Look at Mars. He's leaving the studio with another whole roll. Yes, Evan, the intern, is extending the microphone wire, so I can only assume Mars has come to extend my headphone wire. <laughs> <laughs> it's ridiculous. Hmm. Uh, Hopefully all right. we'll get to meet some new friends today. And the other thing, I walked down the, uh, the long hallway <laughs> to get to the bathroom, and sure enough, those uh, engineers, yeah. they are, are setting up the last two of our 12 TVs. Outside our office. All right, let's uh, let's go back to Sam. Sam, all the way down the hall. That's right, and with more cable than ever. Really? Oh yeah, we have a lot of cords. We have two interns now following me around with bundles of cords that we are should, plugged in. We should brag about how much uh, cord we have. Yeah. Hmm. Well, who's around here? What type of person would you like to talk to today? Well, it's up to you, Sam. You're down there. Exactly. You can't charge. even see you anymore. Okay. Fortunately, we can hear you. Yeah. 
Well, uh, we have this gentleman who's listening to our show right now. Oh. Uh, what you may not know about our show, sir, is I'm Sam from Opie and Anthony, and these two offices here are both for our show, and we also have 12 TVs so far. <laughs> what do you have? I have a studio that, no joke, was a closet four years ago that they turned into a studio. Where is this closet? It means it literally. Actually, uh, down the hall from your guys' studio. Okay, because we have some extra stuff from the old place, so we may have to go ahead and take over that uh, closet for some of our stuff. If you could kind of move maybe a couple of your things out. We have a couple TVs that we haven't found room to hang up yet, so we may need your to use your uh, area as a storage facility. Is that okay? That's fine, I guess, because all the suits are kind of been like pissing themselves for like four months since all of a sudden it's been announced you guys were coming here, so I guess they would make me do it anyway. Oh, <laughs> What's your name? My name's Steve. Oh, Steve. Yes. <laughs> Ask Steve uh, what the vibe is on us finally coming here, Sam. Now that we're finally here, what's what's been the vibe on us? I think it's kind of funny, actually, but I'm pretty sure the suits have all been running around like really scared that you guys were coming and wondering if they were going to get harassed in the hallways. That's why I think they're hiding in their glass aquariums. <laughs> <laughs> why is everyone so scared of us just meeting new people? Uh, I think that because the other type of show here, like yours, or like Howard, is kind of in the back, but you guys are out in front, so I think they're scared that uh, as they walk by, they will be harassed. Mm. Oh, I Sorry. see. All right, well, we'll move on to the next person, but thanks for your time, Steve. No problem. All right, who else is around here? Diet Pepsi sucks. Yeah, it's, if you're going to drink, just How far drink Why were you drinking that? I'm gay. Oh. I'm seeing a... Uh, <laughs> okay. How far we can go down because a couple of these areas are empty. And that's. Yeah, people run away from you. Is that what it is? I thought maybe they just hadn't gotten here yet. No. S well, they're, they're avoiding you. Have, no. you. have you seen anyone with designer glasses yet? Not yet, but not to worry because we're going to go ahead and plug in another uh, headphone wire right now. <laughs> <laughs> Look how far he is. I can't see him. I really can't see He's him. He's almost a dot. <laughs> Sam, you're almost a dot. Okay, well, I'm all, if, I mean... If it wasn't for that huge afro of yours, we wouldn't know it was you. No, I couldn't distinguish him yeah. from anybody. All right, you guys hook up the next wire, and we'll uh, we'll, we'll continue here. Okay, yeah, we're all hooked up. Um, should I keep... Oh, I think uh, Kane from uh, formerly of K-Rock is here. Hi, Kane. I'm Sam from Opie and Anthony. We just moved in, and we have two offices and 12 TVs so far. What do you have? <laughs> I have a mouthful of pretzel. That's what I have. <laughs> yeah, thanks for asking. <laughs> Are you excited now that Opie and Anthony and their 12 TVs have moved into Sirius XM? I'm very excited because now I get to see uh, you know them and their 12 TVs and all their. I get to see Jim Norton come out of the bathroom, which is really good. Yeah, <laughs> sure. A so lot of fun. What kind of stuff do you have here? What, are you, what is this? What are you doing? What is this? Oh, we're going around and meeting uh, some of the new people that we're going to be neighbors with here oh, at cool. Sirius XM. Cool. Uh, what do I have? I don't have... I get to borrow a little booth for, oh. for a couple hours a day. I, I've got nothing, man. There's all the and room in this place. Anything, so you're very lucky. Jesus. They have these tiny little studios. They're, they're, yep. He's right. They're like booths. <laughs> And you go in there and you do your show for a couple hours and then you go home. I don't get it. Where is the... It's, like it's a, a giant building. Right. What? What's... Yeah, we're on the air live right now. Live? Well, I didn't know that. I thought you were doing dicking around out here. <laughs> no, no, he is. <laughs> we're live on the radio. <laughs> I got you. All right, fine. Um, what's the vibe been like here at Sirius, uh, leading up to Opie and Anthony and the show arriving? Very tense. Really? Yes. Very. We've been waiting, you know, because you know, we heard they were all dicks, and so. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. I, remember, like, I kept trying to tell people, saying, like, "Oh, you had none to worry about," you know. I briefly had a run in with them a time or two but uh, we're, oh. we're all very excited that you're here I can't believe they put your studio up so quick just it, yesterday it was all wires Sam tell them uh, Opie and Anthony are listening to you and that we're way past the uh, the problems we used to have with Kane and I'm a huge fan Opie and Anthony are listening to you obviously it's weird not being able to hear them and just staring at you with, his, with these funny faces you're making as you're listening well Opie just wanted to let you know that they're way past their stuff that they had with you and Opie's actually a <laughs> 
perfect <laughs> all theater. It wasn't ever really stuff that they had. It was just all theater, man. It was no. fun. Sam, I it, you, it was great. Cabby, they can hate all they want. Yeah, <laughs> Sam, you cra you crapped out yeah. uh, just when you were going to say that we were big fans. One of the amateur interns was messing with the microphone cord. Wait, It'll what kind of intern are you then? I'm uh, not an intern. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I get to be the one holding the mic, and all these people follow me. Ah, okay, I got you. I used to be an intern, all right. all but. Right. Tell Kane I'll be listening to him later on Alt Nation. Opie will be listening to you later on Alt Nation. Also, and I will be listening to them every day. Fantastic. Right. Good to see you. You too. Thank you. Kane's all right. He's all right. I remember one time we all had a little free time uh, in between shows, and we bumped into Kane <laughs> over at, uh, I believe it was Show World or one of those places. <laughs> Was he over there? Remember that? We all ended up at some strip club. <laughs> I remember that much. It was me, you, Kane. I'm honestly trying to remember. And I think we had to go to work. Oh, when, uh, with the, the stripper with the knee jobs? Yes! <laughs> knee jobs for lunch. Knee jobs, that's what it was, knee jobs for lunch. <laughs> These strippers had this gimmick where they would just, like, kind of sit you down and then do that thing where they kind of grab your legs yeah. and, and kind of shake their hair in your face and shit like that. And they were making believe they weren't making contact. Yeah. Using but their, their knee. knee <laughs> their <laughs> knee would be right in your crotch area, and she'd start pumping and pushing uh, against your boner with her kneecap. Did you dump? <laughs> nah. Very hard to dump in that uh, situation. Yeah, it's not just laughing. Humsies in that situation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I made mean, comfies in my pants twice due to strippers. No way. One, right through your pants? Uh, once in New Orleans, I was down there doing a college with Pete Corielli. And, and this guy yeah, Lewis Pete's from, good, though. He can make you come real easy. Pete can just by talking <laughs> to me. He's so funny, his act just makes me come. <laughs> but no, it was me, Pete, and Lewis Ramis who we went to the strip club. And in the back, it was like a tourist trap. So she's giving me like $20 lap dances. And she's like, for 300 we could go in this quiet room. And, and I, I know it's a scam. So I'm like, oh, all right, just give me a couple of minutes. And uh, cause I had on silk boxers, Ooh. and she was grinding. I'm like, yeah, maybe we can. What will happen up there? Like, I'm just, you can have a really good time. And then yeah, she's, what does that mean? Exactly. She had, when, when the ass cheeks are separated over the dick and they're moving, and all of a sudden, a fucking fire hose of activity in my pants. <laughs> and I all walked, of your silk I boxers. Fucking, I was like, nah, I'm all set. And I walked out with a fucking giant stain on my boxers, and I showed Pete and Lewis on Bourbon Street. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. oh, that's great. That is all right. The, uh, the silk probably is what did it, right? Well, when, I, when yeah. it happened in Vegas, this Russian stripper, they normally annoy me. It was the best lap mm -hmm. dance I've ever gotten. I got 11 lap dances from her. Because for like two hundred and twenty dollars, and I knew she's just a stripper, and she still had me convinced that she liked me, and she was kind of riding me, like with her ass cheeks on my boner, and then like looking back over her shoulder at me, just slowly mm. rocking on my cock, and boy did I fucking blast off my wow. pants! Wow, wonderful, Very sensitive uh, boy. Not normally. It took eleven lap dances. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus, that's okay. Jesus, Jimmy, you, were you chafed? <laughs> you sure it wasn't blood and pus? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got approval on the audio. I, they said no. We're still. It still needs to be worked on. What is it? What is it to be Isn't worked it on? Easy to just say yes or no. What is the work on? Someone part? are they to editing make it? A goddamn decision. Somebody was trashing us. I want to know why they can't just like. Here's the the recording we have. We want to play it. Yeah, some guy trashing. Someone us. make a decision. That's what it is. There's too many chiefs. I don't know. Let's let this one. Oh, well, we'll sit on it a while. We'll right. do this. We'll do. Someone go yes or no. God, Evan does have the weirdest walk. Whoa. Holy shit! He's always pushing to the left. All right, what the fuck <laughs> is going on there? That's not real, right? He's like crazy legs, Dude, McGillicuddy. He pushes to the left. He's got to adjust every step. Make Dude, his legs are wobbling again. like like <laughs> he's got like rubber band legs. Yeah. He's doing the Forrest Gump dance when Elvis was yeah. staying at the house. <laughs> hey, fucking ball bearing hips. <laughs> <laughs> what a creepy walk. Oh, you really don't get to see. I never saw any of these interns walking this far ever. <laughs> now they could come right at you looking at, uh, down the hallway, and that walk was ridiculous. Well, how about we. Is that uh, a problem? Did he have polio? I don't know. We're trying to find out, but he's busy doing something that's, I guess, more important What's he than, doing? than finding out the answer to the question yeah, that we want to know the answer to. Evan. All right, we we never noticed the way you fucking. What's yeah, up with yeah. your walk? We never noticed before until we uh, watched you walk uh, six hundred yards uh, down the hallway. 
that you have kind of a unique stride. I do. Uh, Is that your own? been called a few things. Get right on mic. Uh, uh, waddle by some. Uh, Sam likes to call it a sachet. Sachet. Yeah. It is almost like a, a, a model it's, walks down a runway and their hips kind of move. Yeah. It's what, sort of that. And it looks kind of rubber bandy. Why are you so well, sexy? Well, I, <laughs> I have a crooked hips. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. What's wrong with your fucking hips, <laughs> Nana? I have crooked hips. How old are you? 22. 22 crooked they, hips. Uh, they developed uh, incorrectly. <laughs> Can you please just walk down the hall? I didn't really get a chance to see. I want, yeah, to, I want to see sure. if we can talk about yeah. it. Walk, walk down, yeah. It's like, oh, oh. This, the to the, fucking... Walk down to the end of the runway. Yeah. Can you and put that... a skirt on him? If he walks the other way, what's he doing? All right. Oh, we got to put a tight dress on him. He's got crooked <laughs> hips. <laughs> it is crooked hips. I don't know what that is. Awful. His lower half is moving independently of his upper half. His upper half looks stiff, and the bottom half looks like the keep on trucking thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What a crooked idiot. He, I, when he just says, I have crooked hips. Were <laughs> we supposed to laugh at that point? Of no. Course we How do you we're not? supposed to be sympathetic, but fuck him. Uh, all right, well, we're going to have to read the script again. Why don't we read the script? Keep on checking, guy. Why don't we read the, uh, the script? Uh, How many parts do we need? Uh... I think only I think only two. Who is it's, this douchebag? That it's was... it's Alex Bennett. We took Who his studio. He? He, Too uh, bad. I don't know. He, we didn't ask for it. They just gave it to us. He was like a name he, in the seventies. He think. was he was big in um, San Francisco radio. I do believe. That's when What's he made his so kind of mark of the angry. business. That's so angry. And uh, he's not happy that uh, we're taking over his studio and we got TVs and then he and, and then he goes for the typical Howard Stern crap with us. <clears throat> oh, maybe that's what they're c cutting out? Ugh. Where's E-Rock to play Alex? And then we need someone to play Albert. Who Who's hasn't Albert? Uh, been on the air yet? Uh, Travis can Albert. play Albert. Ooh. What a what a fucking douchebag. I'm reading the transcript. Yeah. What a fucking douchebag this guy is. Mm -hmm. I'm 40, and I've never heard of him. Mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. sure they're going to give away... Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Like they do for everyone else's. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what he means. I can't tell what's sarcastic and what's stupidity. E-Rock, you're gonna play the part of Alec uh, or Alex Bennett. Okay. And uh, Travis, you're gonna play Albert. Who's Albert, uh, Danny? I, I guess he's his co-host. Co-host or like a yeah. board guy that gets. I don't know. I mean, for, I, I I haven't heard. I I just heard the excerpt. So from it, I couldn't tell exactly what his role was. Are they was, on right but... now? I do believe so. Are they in, in the building uh, here? He's off at 9, I think. Is off he at 9? 6 to 9, I think. 6 yeah. to 9? Aha, uh -huh, stupid. Hope you're listening. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking three-hour show. Beat it. Ugh. Uh, <clears throat> asshole. Hey, what, I, what a douchebag. Wow, what the fuck did we ever do to this fucking asshole? M made it? Studio. <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel to be in the business that long and Jesus. just have your studio took? This guy is, like, angry. Oh, that's bitter, yeah. There's some real We've never bitterness even talked in about here. this Let's guy. just fucking... Fuck this cocksucker. All right, uh, you got microphones? One. We have one. <laughs> one. Great. I'm, I'm sure he does a great radio show that I've never heard. All right, this is uh, Alex uh, Bennett, played by E-Rock, and Travis will be playing Albert. And if we get the <clears throat> approval, we'll play the audio, too. But we see a picture of this douchebag? Yeah, hang on. Mm, 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 mm. What the hell? Mm, 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 mm. Masterpiece Theater, right? Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Just Google irrelevant. Yeah, I'll make it bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Jesus. That's him? It looks like the That fucking... Mexican. That balding old man? How uh, old is he? Looks like he used to play for the Harlem Globetrotters. <laughs> what is wrong? Uh, looks like Chef from Apocalypse Now. Fans? Yeah, a little bit. All right, let's go. Looks like Chef, and I hope he winds up the same way <laughs> with his fucking dopey head in Brando's lap. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead there, Iraq. Get us going. I'm sure they're going to do a press release like they do for everyone's fifth anniversary. I'm sure they're going to have a party. I'm sure they're going to give away prizes, right, Albert? Oh, yeah, they'll do that right after they finish building the Opie and Anthony Studios. <laughs> <laughs> Just right after that, they'll do that, because they're important. Apparently, have you seen the new offices? 
Already they have two flat screen TVs in their <laughs> studio. <laughs> well, we're up to four. <laughs> we get a, uh, okay. an eight in, in here. Well, have you seen their offices? There's going to be two flat screen TVs in their offices, too. Well, when do we get our flat screen? Maybe we'll get one for the anniversary. Maybe there's one left over from Opie and Anthony's move. Their offices are nice. Jeez almighty. Why don't we get that? Why do they need a flat screen in their office? They have four of them. <laughs> <laughs> we have four and you have none. Everyone's so angry about these flat screens. Exactly. We, and let it be known, because this is a week ago, we're up to 12 now. They said, what, we had two in studio. Yeah. We now have officially eight. Eight we in studio. 12. And they were bitching when we had two in here. Back up a little yeah. bit. Wait, can, we, can, we, can someone go grab a photo of their studio? Oh, fantastic. Can we find out yeah, yeah, what, what yeah, fucking I, I, shoebox they're in and yeah. get a photo of it? Back up a little bit. Okay, so no this, They were bitching when there were only two flat that. screens in yeah. there. We're up to eight. Go ahead. Okay. Jeez almighty. Why don't we get that? Why do they need a flat screen in their office? They have four of them. In the office? And not just those little monitors we have in the studio. What do they need that for? W what are they, like a news operation? They're only on a lousy three-hour-a-day show. Wait, 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 what? No, you're on a lousy three-hour-a-day yeah. show, stupid. We're on a five-hour-a-day well, show. Five hours, you dumb cunt. You're on three hours, and that's why you're fucking in the uh, car right now. Fuck this guy. Asshole. In the office? And not just those little monitors we have here in the studio. What do they need that for? What are they, like a news operation? They're only a lousy three-hour-a-day show. They're big stars. Haven't they heard you can do a talk show with three people? They have a great agent. Why not? You're doing one with three listeners. <laughs> Nobody cares about you. How does that feel? Wow. I did, I, you know what? I've had satellite for uh, five years. I I didn't even know Alex Bennett was doing a satellite radio Dude, show. I swear to God, I've so never just, heard of him. We just gave him some marketing today. I had no idea. No clue. Go ahead. Uh, track two, I guess. <laughs> It's ridiculous. For them, they haven't been too successful in the last few years, have they? Mm. Uh, I don't know. They lost their FM stations. Yeah. Mm. That doesn't sound like much success. So, so they have all this, so they pretty much wound up being me. Yeah, yes, but they're you with a bunch of flat screens. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't do the fist on the console. Yeah. Follow the directions in the parentheses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're right. Yes. That's what they are. They're me with a bunch of, I want a flat screen in here. But Opie and Anthony are the poor man's Howard, right? Yeah, there you go. I wouldn't say that. Why? Because it's a different act. Thank you, Albert. Oh, it's a different act? Yeah. Yeah, Howard's uh, good and they're terrible. You think I'm giving them a, a bad time because they took our studio? Do you think they'll come over and say they're happy? We're all at the same place together? No, in fact, I think that when they find out you were saying nasty things about them... They'll try to get me fired. Well, they'll first make sure you don't do that anymore. Then get uh, some of the bosses to say, hey, Alex, don't do that anymore. Uh, first of all, let me interject here. We don't do that. No. We get on the air and beat the shit out of you. Uh, you then uh, get beat up so badly that you usually run to the bosses and tell us to stop. That's the way it's worked in every situation we've been in. We pull out uh, the atomic bomb, we drop it on uh, whoever's giving us shit, and uh, they turn around and say, please make them stop. We've never told a fucking uh, boss to have people to stop, uh, to make people stop talking about us. And it ain't happened. Mm -hmm. We encourage our listeners to listen to your show. Yeah. I'm 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 willing I'm confident oh, enough in this show yes, we are. to say our listeners should listen to your show and if you do a better show then our listeners should stay there. I think judging by this that you're just a cranky guy who didn't get as far as you wanted to get and tough shit that you got booted out of your studio. Tough shit. Nice. You don't like it? Fucking quit and get on a flat screen. No, you don't. Twelve of them. Why don't you show and the counting? Show video on that bald head of yours. <laughs> well, we pound the oh, 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 pound the oh, oh. Wait till we bring in our uh, our personal TVs next. <laughs> right. Everyone bring in their extra TV from home. I'm gonna roll in a big projection <laughs> television set. <laughs> we should. Those Dude, old a screen screen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back up again, Iraq, e please. Uh -huh. Yeah, Howard's good and they're terrible. You think I'm giving them a bad time because they took our studio? Right, I say back up, so you had to go and get that line on the radio again. There was only one other line. All right, All right you're right. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, you think I'm giving them a bad time because they took our studio? 
Do you think they'll come over and say that they're happy because we're all at the same place together? No, in fact, I think when they find out you were saying nasty things about them... They'll try to get me fired. Well, they'll first make sure you don't do that anymore. They'll get uh, some of the bosses to say, hey, Alex, don't do that anymore. Really? They do that? Oh, yeah. They always used to accuse Howard of that. No, they'll do that to you. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Hey, Lapdog, we, this show has never done that to another radio show. Nope. And uh, as far as what happened with this show and the Stern Show, look, it's common knowledge. He said it on, he admitted it on Hannity. Mm -hmm. So don't be a fucking, l learn what you're talking about before you start bashing a radio show, stupid. All right, track three. Why am I supposed to defend them? They're not on my channel. I, I don't know. If we don't defend them, they'll say nasty things. We're competitors. We'll be on the same time, right? They'll be on the same time I am, right? Six in the morning till... I don't know, something like that. Three in the afternoon. I, I don't know. Those shows go on forever. Well, that's what they need, those live screen TVs, so they can catch Springer. Because they're working while he's on. <laughs> oh, wait, you know... So... Hold on, the first <laughs> it has to be read. Do your line again, and then... Uh, and read what's in the print? All right. Or, and can you read the... Uh... Yeah, yeah. All right, when, when it comes to that, because that's really funny, yeah. actually. <laughs> Fucking asshole. <laughs> okay. Um, go ahead. Three in the afternoon. I don't know. Those shows go on forever. Well, that's what... They, well, that's why they need those live screen TV, so they can catch Springer. Long, uncomfortable pause. Because <laughs> they're working while he's on. Smells the bomb and changes the <laughs> subject. So it's... They... Really? They have four in their offices? <laughs> <laughs> they will. I, I love it. I just love it. Yeah, you know, you know, I, I understand Howard. I understand why he has to have all that. I understand why he's worth it. Right. What a groveling, what yeah. a fucking groveling, right. irrelevant man you are. That's it. How old is Alex Whatever. Bennett? Idiots. How old is he? Just do your fucking thing and... And what channel is he on? I've never heard of this guy. Enough for drinking the Kool America left. Oh, yeah. there you go. The audience left. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck yourself. All right. Whoa. I thought I told Mingy. I thought I told you to go fuck your mother. Is he from San Francisco? Is that where he's out of? Yeah. What is this guy? One of these he fucking was born in San Francisco. Aged, oh, okay. aged hippie fucking. Oh yeah, assholes. probably. He was born yeah. in thirty nine. Yeah. Wow. Thirty nine. So oh 30, my god. Sixty one. So he's 60... He's 70. 70. He's going to be 70. He's 70. I've yeah, yeah, yeah. never heard of that guy. In seven, 70 years uh, on the earth, who, the f who are you? Yeah. He, he's, uh, he's lame because when Howard used to admit it, he uh, said that Alex Bennett was one of his influences, and now Alex Bennett is drinking the Kool-Aid. Jesus. Whatever. Have fun. Why don't we go back down the hall and say hi to Sam? Took his studio and he's all mad. That's right. We took we took it. We, we bitched so you for is. your studio. Yeah. Hand it over, bitch. Uh huh. Get the fuck out. Out. We piss in the corners now. It's our fucking studio. Oh, well, that's a good idea. <laughs> yeah. Mark it. Mark your territory. Please get a picture of his studio. Um, um, be great yeah. They just put him in a fucking shoebox. I, I, I was gonna, but there's people in there, and I think it still might be him. So, so we'll get a picture of him. So Good. Who cares? I got, I got You're afraid of a 70 year old man. No, yeah. Jesus I, Christ. What's he gonna do? Throw, throw his prostate at you? I have an iPhone. I'll never get a good, crisp, clear picture of it. <laughs> Stop and take a picture of him. I got Paul. Yeah. Paul's got a, a, a digital camera. Get a, get, a, get, a, get a picture of him. Fuck him. Let's go back down the hall as we do that. Sam? Hi. What's, uh, what's the vibe down the hall? Well, everyone's uh, everyone's coming in. Everybody's working. They're all uh, looking at me annoyed. Mm -hmm. We're we've got lots of cable. We're all the way down near the kitchen. How many people could hear you right now? Oh, um, at least you know. I mean, there's a dozen or more. 15, how about 20. how about you make one general announcement? Okay, what would you like me to announce? I, ladies and gentlemen, if I could have your attention, I'm Sam from the Opie and Anthony Show. Just want to let you know it's our first day, and so far we got. Two offices with four flat screen TVs. We have a studio with eight flat screen TVs. That makes a total of 12 flat screen TVs and counting. And Alex Bennett has none. And, and, right. <laughs> and Alex Bennett has hey, a tiny wait, no, little and, monitor. And first, ask if they know who Alex Bennett is. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever heard of this old man? <laughs> okay. Are you ready for your big announcement? Something like that. If you mess up a little bit, that's fine. Yes, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Attention, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sam from the Opie and Anthony Show. 
I just wanted to let you all know that so far we have two offices with four TVs and one studio with eight TVs. That makes a total of 12 TVs so far, and Alex Bennett has none, if any of you know who that is. <laughs> You guys can all get back to work. I'll come over and meet you later if you'd like. <laughs> what was the reaction, Sam? Um, well, a lot of people were on their phones, so they put the old finger in the other ear. <laughs> yeah. um, Who was the guy that yelled, you suck, or something like that? I think that might have been uh, Rob Cross <laughs> oh. from, from his office. I want a picture of Alex Bennett's studio. Yeah, we're working on it, Jimmy. It's, it's, hard. it's, it's difficult because of the glare. Yeah, we're working on it. Well, like his head? <laughs> <laughs> no, they got double glass. Yeah, it's double glass everywhere. So, so you get really you, you try to take picture pictures. pictures. Well, just mm. I want to get a just get a you know there's got to be a way to get a shot. Let's yeah, ask well, if Enrique and Glaze is this <laughs> this young go getter. <laughs> I kind of like it better with the monitors off because then you can really give them a trash. Yeah, they can make fun of people as yeah. they walk by from the cowardice of our own <laughs> closed yeah, door. Ah, right. <laughs> uh, we got bad timing. Yeah, we almost had a moment. The guy that we were just uh, trashing just walked by the studio literally a minute before he came on the air. Is oh. that who that was? I thought it was B. Arthur. <laughs> what a <laughs> set of mantis. Wow, yeah. Oh, he's he is in shape. He's not happy. No. Sam goes, he Strong. gave us a look as he walked by. Ooh. I know I have my feet up on the console and I was commenting on John the way I can't see the fifth television <laughs> with the door open. Yeah, he wasn't too Fucking happy. Beat it, jiggly tits. <laughs> Take your fucking hefty bosoms and get back into your studio. He's wearing a PSP shirt. I wonder what's, what games he plays. Oof. I'm trying to think of a good one. I'm trying to think of one that ties, ties in with old people. I just yes. can't. Prostates, things yeah. like that. Grand theft wheelchair. <laughs> okay, that's a good one. <laughs> he's from San Francisco. I think he used to broadcast there. Another one of my favorites, Bernie Ward. I'm the very liberal talk show host from San Francisco. Had a bit of trouble. Well, we're also finding out that Alex Bennett said a while ago, thanks to somebody, thanks to somebody, we have spies uh, in this facility, that he's claiming that uh, we ripped them off because we mm -hmm. had a live studio audience. Yes, so he started that. He, uh, he used to have a live studio audience, I guess, on... Um, Fridays or something in San Francisco. Where, in ancient Greece? <laughs> That's and when they were started doing live audiences. He, he knows a lot of... <laughs> <laughs> fucking cunt. <laughs> <laughs> so he knows a lot about us, and he was bitching that we stole his live audience. The bit. live audience is... Um, That's sort of how radio started. Yeah, well... They, it was. It was a live audience. It was people in front of microphones doing stupid... Yeah. Drama and things like that. Absolutely. Before he was around, it was the comedians just stood in a room and talked to no one. Yeah. It was such a bad reaction. The audience. We should invite him to watch uh, some of our TVs from outside the class. Yeah. <laughs> See if he wants to come in and talk to more than 50 people at a time. <laughs> but he walked right by. Why wouldn't you come in? You know, you're bitching about us. You know who we are. We were all very mature. We were just going, ah, ha, ah, ha, ha, ha. He wasn't going to be bullied into walking around the other way. We got your studio. Yeah, ha, he, ha. He walked right past us. All right. Well, everybody took a stroll past this studio, too, to see what that was all He's about. He's on from noon to three on America Left, right? Or Serious Left, is it called? Uh, yeah. I don't even know. So if you want to, if our listeners want to check him out, it from uh, from nine to noon. He's on right now. Nine to if noon. You're I'm sorry. Us live. He's See, look right at that now. nice cross. Oh, here comes uh, crooked hips. Oh wow. God! Look at the way he walks. Wow! Wow! When, when you see it uh, this way, it's even more amazing. I want to play. Isn't she lovely? As he approaches, <laughs> yes, crooked hips. And our response was to openly laugh and mock him. Hold on, we got some good phones coming in. God, that was uh, that was pretty good. Him walking by there. God, did he have big tits? Oh my God! Shit, I wonder he's cranky. Big luscious tits. Nice. Mm. Big. Mm. Sonic mm. Beauty. <laughs> Alex Bennett. <laughs> Let's talk to the beautiful Alex Bennett. <laughs> this Buck Sonic. That's right. This geriatric Buck Sonic <laughs> has liver spots where hair used to be. <laughs> Rub your big dicks against his bald head and then mash him between those juicy teats. <laughs> those juicy milk giving udders. Alex Bennett, San Francisco's own. Big fat B. Arthur tits and a shitty sweatshirt. <laughs> 
<laughs> Two saggy tits where they count. <laughs> That's right. He looks like Peter Boyle. <laughs> it's Alex Bennett. <laughs> what a prick. A 70-year-old man's ball bag hanging down to his kneecaps. <laughs> Alex Bennett. He did Adrian Cronauer's job in World War I. <laughs> Alex Bennett. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Let's say hi to Kent, the movie guy. Kent. Hey guys. Uh, I I seem to remember a really old episode of uh, well, obviously it's old of the Little Rascals, where the all the kids start a band and go on the radio, and there was a freaking live audience in that. So yeah. Little Rascals did the live audience bit. Mm -hmm. So how is this guy the originator? I don't know. The International Silver String Submarine Band. Oh. Yes, exactly. Yeah. All right, Ken. I, I got nothing else. A buck sonic. <laughs> <laughs> right when he... It's so, it's so great how fucking vicious people are. Because the second he was pointed out, it's like, oh, that's him. He's down the hall. And he was pretty far. And then as he's walking by, Jimmy just goes, look at the man tits on him. <laughs> Hey, you could see him from the entire hallway's length away. That's why he's fucking. That's why he's cranky. He's going through menopause. And he's like, I'm a man. This shouldn't be happening. How are my ovaries drying up? I'm a man. <laughs> Withered, dried up ovaries. Odd for a male. The buck Sonic. <laughs> Here comes Crooked Hips again. Oh. How many times are you going to take this walk down the hall? Do what is he exactly? What is he doing? What are you doing? <laughs> we can... <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> he doesn't even know. <laughs> He's switching. He really is. He's got the... If he walks by that fucking out cue channel, there's going to be fucking two loads on the window <laughs> before he gets past it. <laughs> I think you're going to hear a much different show tomorrow, by the way. This swiveled <laughs> hip buck Sonic. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's go uh, piss off more people. Sam! Of course. Yeah. You're just waiting there, huh? Yeah, I'm just hanging out in the hallway, looking around, getting the lay of the land. A lot more people have lay arrived to work. Oh, yeah. A lot of people are here now. The desks are filling up. Any suits with designer glasses yet? Uh, um, those. Well, I haven't gone into that wing yet, but I have seen uh, at least three walk in. Okay. With designer glasses. I've been, uh, I, I, I could, I guess, walk over towards the suits, but I don't know if I should. Well, it's up to you, man. Well, I mean, we could talk to some people just doing their work here. Okay. Your everyday schmoes. Get the buzz on us and, you know, the big opener, too, of course. We haven't done that in a while. Okay, sure. Excuse me. <laughs> Would either of you two like to talk to me on the air? Sure. I'm Sam from the Opie and Anthony Show. Hi, Sam. So far, we have two offices and 12 TVs. What do you have? Uh, no office and negative TVs, so I think you guys are doing better than me. Cool. What's your name? Alex. What do you do here at Sirius XM? <laughs> I work on his one. Oh, cool. What kind of music are you playing today? It's... Uh, you know, a little pink, a little Kelly Clarkson, your normal top 40. Maybe throw a little All-American Rejects in there for feeling frisky. Nice. Um, what was, have you, have you heard anything? The Opie and Anthony show is officially live here at Sirius XM. What's the vibe been leading up to this big, uh, this huge thing? It's been kind of interesting. Everybody's been watching the studio be built, the offices, so it's kind of like you're waiting for everything to come and happen. Now that it started, it kind of just doesn't really seem any different. You expected everything to be a little bit crazier. I feel weird, but it kind of just fits right in. So. Is there usually some idiot walking around with a microphone and harassing people at their desks? <laughs> yes, but usually it's not the 80s game show mic. Usually it's more of the M Audio style mic, so at least you're bringing oh. something different. This is a windscreen. <laughs> hey Sam, ask if uh, if if, she, if they had the impression that like you know kind of like the shitheads from across the street at XM were coming. Did you kind of get the impression like like the way people talk around the office that a bunch of shitheads from, shitheads from XM were coming over here? That's exactly the quote that I got. How did you know? Did somebody leak it? Yeah, I guess that's the vibe we've been getting so far. Well, thank you for your time. Anytime, man. All right. That was wow, good. Sam, that was very gentlemanly. Yeah. Magic well, Johnson's the only guy with AIDS who's getting fatter. How the oh, fuck yes. did he pull that off? Giant. He's a monster. Inside that head. Let's see. There's some more females we could talk to. It's always good to have a female voice. Yes. 
Excuse me, would any of you, either of you two young ladies like to talk to me on the air? I'm Sam with the Opie and Anthony Show. So far, we have two offices and 12 TVs. What do you have? An intern desk. What's your name? Christina. Christina, what do you do here at Sirius XM? I'm an intern for the music programming department. That sounds exciting. What kind of things do they have you guys doing? Loading voice tracks and music. Jesus, don't, don't say that too loud. Do, do you feel like you're learning something as an intern? Our interns get us Yeah, coffee. you see how, uh, how radio production works, the background work. Is that what interns are supposed to learn? Here at the Opie and Anthony show, the interns just follow me around with cords in their hand. <laughs> so, uh, how long have you been at Sirius XM? Since February. Ask her if she wants to be an on-air personality eventually. Would you eventually like to be an on-air personality on the radio? Definitely. Tell her to work on it. You should probably, I mean, a little thing, you should work on it a little bit. Holy you think I should work on it? Just personality-wise. Oh, really? What are you trying to say? Ooh. That you're no. boring. <laughs> that you're boring. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you, and I hope you take my constructive criticism with a smile. <laughs> okay, thanks. <laughs> what an asshole. What a dick. <laughs> you want to do one more, Sam? Yes, of course I do. Okay. <laughs> Would you like another young lady or a young man? Sure, whoever. Whoever okay. you think is going to work. Yeah. We'll talk to this young lady here. Excuse me, miss. Would you like to talk to Opie and Anthony on the air? Of course. My name's Sam. I work for Opie and Anthony. So far, we have two offices and 12 TVs. What do you have? Um, one monitor and the XM and a serious radio. We actually, a lot of our XMs got lost in the move from studio to studio. So we <laughs> we actually may have to take that XM unless you uh, have some serious reason for keeping it. You're going to have to fight me to take my XM radio. you got like 200 TVs over there. You're not going to take my one little radio from me. <laughs> so what do you do here? I am a coordinator for the 70s, the 80s, and the message. What's the message? It's a Christian pop rock channel. That's it. <laughs> oh, da -da, da -da. Hey, Sam, let's let's cause a commotion. Okay. Like just just out of nowhere, start yelling. Is there an engineer in the house? One of the twelve flat screen TVs has gone down. We can't get a no, picture. It's a bit fuzzy. <laughs> it's a bit fuzzy. Yeah. 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 And the talent doesn't like to strain their eyes. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Just uh, just start a commotion. Holy shit! Hold on, okay. me. I I'm walking down the hall. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Comes crookedness again. What does he do? <laughs> what is he doing? There's a tell crookedness to stop walking down the hall. <laughs> 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 what is he doing? <laughs> 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 what is he doing? What is he doing? What is he doing? He's getting hard ons all over the facility. Please <laughs> <laughs> don't tell him. Yes. Why does he keep walking down the long hall with those crooked know. hips? <laughs> you would think he would rest them. <laughs> Holy shit, the vulture from Spider Man's coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that fucking creep. All right, Sam. <laughs> Sam. Okay. Cause a commotion, right? Right now. Opie, Anthony, I've arrived at our office and we need an engineer. One of our 12 flat screen TVs is fuzzy. Is there an engineer in the house that could help us with our fuzzy flat screen TV? So the talent doesn't have to strain their eyes. One twelfth of our TVs is fuzzy and the talent may have to strain their eyes. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a hush is falling over serious <laughs> oh, I am not making eye contact with one twelfth of our TVs. <laughs> that's less than wait. That's less than ten percent, isn't it? Yes, it is. You know eight percent. You know how you you do realize that we are looked at as such douches for needing so many TVs. But we, 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 Why do we need so many televisions? We were looked at as douches just for being there and attacking Sirius. Oh, I know. Yeah. But now there's a reason. Yeah. Like, everyone seems to know that we have this many TVs and can't understand why we need them. All right, let's be honest with each other, too. There's eight TVs in the studio. How many total minutes have you looked at the TVs this morning? Uh, not long. I would say I, maybe two minutes. I'm looking at somebody on fire on one of the uh, yeah. channels, and then Tyra's on another one. <laughs> but all stuff we need for our truth, broadcast. Yeah. Mm. I mean, to tell you the truth, I could just glance over at other televisions, but yeah. this is more comfortable. <laughs> sure. 
Like Jimmy said before, I don't have to crick my neck. Uh, I have to crick my neck to see one of them, and I smell lawsuit. <laughs> I smell lawsuit. I'm, I'm so permanently in injured. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, by the way, we got to play uh, Stephen Lynch's D&D uh, &D song today. The D&D &D creator he died. died. Yep. So okay. we can get a play out of uh, Stephen Lynch's uh, Dungeons and Dragons song. We could do that right now, not going into break if you can find it. Ran out of hit points. And then we'll go. Right, we'll come back uh, right Poor after the Stephen Lynch song. You got that? You think? Let me be a second. All right. Travis is panicking. <clears throat> of course he is. I think this went very well for our first show. What? <laughs> Spelling Stephen C Z. <laughs> I just my teeth itch. <laughs> <laughs> I made your teeth itch. Yeah, that bomb was so slow and delicious. <laughs> like fucking, it's like sticking to my teeth like tape. <sighs> oh my god. When is fucking oh, Ernest Borgnine body gonna walk by again? Oh, hold on, we got an Alex Bennett to update. Peter from Massachusetts. Did anyone else, uh, this is worth pulling too, because that dumb situation room that I was forced to watch for two hours. Anyone else notice how Obama says Massachusetts? How? They did a whole thing on it last night. Uh-oh. Or it might have been MSNBC. They're all the same fucking channel. If you can find that, it's worth it. Racist Chusets? <laughs> I, I, I can't even say it how he says it. Massive, it's, massive it's, two shits? Ma massive two <laughs> He just says it really, <laughs> really badly. Is someone, if the, are they listening to the office? If they could find that, it would be great. All right, uh, Peter, Massachusetts, what's up? Yeah, I just called that Alex Bennett show. Um, I said I wanted to talk about health care, and they put me right on. And uh, he goes, Peter, what do you need? I said, listen, Alex, I hear you got a big pair of bologna tits in a small studio. Is that true? <laughs> <laughs> Did he answer? He goes, what? I go, yeah, big bloated tits in a small studio. Is that true? He goes, I thought you wanted to talk about health care. What kind of show is this for an asshole like that gets through? That's it. I quit. I'm done. I'm done. I quit. Did he really? It was say hilarious. <laughs> he really said that? Yeah. Uh, Swear to God. Awesome. Thank you, Peter. Very funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, by the way, when we leave today, John Long Island has a great idea. Every single uh, 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 TV has to be on the same channel. Yes. Every single one. And some real lame-ass channel. There's something really bad. Uh, somebody before suggested that we put the TV Guide channel on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's the bad on. Yeah. Uh, maybe 10, 12 people stop me and say, hey, you were for serious. You know, what's going on? I'm like, you know... I mean, in this area, I mean, that is what's going on with the economy. You know, I mean, you, I don't feel confident saying, hey, I work for serious. I would just, I will tell you... Man, I'm just glad that I have a job. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's how but, everybody but feels I, about but now. But you guys just brought the whole thing, you know, to a different level because, you know, people just keep stopping me and say, hey, you know, Opie and Anthony, yo, Howard, oh. what's going on? Yeah. You know, running fast. You know, we got high, uh, water and oil in one container. What's going to happen? You know, so, you know, it made me curious to stop by and see who are the, the big Opie and Anthony. Uh. You know? Yeah. So here I am. I would too. Mm -hmm. And by the way, they did force me to say that on the radio. Yeah, I uh, hear you. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. All yeah. right. Well, so I, how's, how's everything, guys? I you... see you have a pink slip. So who, who, who gets the pink oh, slip? No, no, that's not is, good to carry no, around no, this place. Actually, that, you this you is, don't want to be carrying anything. No, no this is confirmation for the contractors <laughs> for the work that they did. You know, for me to sign. No, they're no. building a they're building a breast rest for Alex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. A place oh. for his bosoms to oh. sit. <laughs> oh, he just he just no, no, he no, doesn't want to be on mic anymore. I gotta start charging for this. No, I'm kidding. Well, guys, guys, I just you know anything you guys need. All right. All right. Hey, right. team, anything you guys oh, need, anything that you think that um, oh, right. um, um, my team oh, okay. uh, can provide you oh, with, right feel free, you know, okay. to ask. Uh, we Very good. To, right. to make your living okay. easier. Uh -huh. And, um, Jesus. I mean, yeah, fuck, rock on, baby. Thanks, man. Thank you, oh, sir. Gosh, thank you. There he goes. Right, Meeting, uh, another. Take it easy, sir. Oh, boy. Somebody been updating Alex Bennett's Wikipedia page. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh, Helpful re updates? Reports are coming in. <laughs> oh, no. What was the update? Yeah, do you have one? I didn't, uh, no. Uh, yeah. I didn't check. Maybe we can take a look <laughs> at it. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going through it right now. Uh, <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> Are there updates? Yeah, let's see. Uh, Bennett was born in San Francisco, blah, blah, blah. He adopted his on-air name as a tribute to his late father. Uh, he is believed to be a closet homosexual. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. Is that on Wikipedia? Yeah, it's on the Wikipedia. All right, let's wow. See. Let's make it perfectly clear that uh, we have no idea. I don't know. Oh, who's who's reading Wikipedia? That, huh? yeah. I know. Let's uh, just make sure people know that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's some trivia about Alex Bennett. Um, let's see. Bennett was the first American DJ to play the song No Matter What. 
And on April 14th, 2009, it was revealed that Bennett's office at Sirius XM has no flat screen TVs, <laughs> while Opie and Anthony have at least 12. <laughs> <laughs> That's worthy of Wikipedia. That's on his Wikipedia page, huh? Why would that be there? That's silly. As long as they don't say anything degrading. It's like that guy calling in about his baloney tits. I mean, sure, it was funny, but it's like it's like that, that type of thing you want to see in print. I mean, we laugh. No, 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 never. Yeah, it was more of a visual. You know. Come on. Yeah, yeah. He's on from what uh, nine to twelve here on the East yeah, Coast. Yeah, he's on give, right give now. Him a Serious plug. left. Yeah. Say, so, look, maybe he's a good show. Give him a listen. Maybe you like him. Maybe you want to discuss a topic That's with right. him. Seriously, of course. <laughs> Fine. Fair enough. <laughs> People. That's great. <laughs> You got to put that info about how many flat screens. <laughs> I just know we are the assholes of this building, and one reason is that we have so many flat screen TVs already. And it's just looking in here, going, "Why, Sam? I I can't figure this out. Are there more pins down there, or do we have more TVs? Let's see. If you do a little math, there's ten pins. Uh huh. We have 12 TVs. Oh, okay. If you subtract the number of TVs by pins, we're still left with two HD flat screen TVs. <laughs> More than we have pins. Fantastic. I just wanted to make sure of that. How many TVs does your sports studio have? Uh, the Probably NFL studio, we have two and oh, then we oh. and the host the host side of it we have like <laughs> three or four so probably like six Sam, <laughs> that's still less than us hey sam why don't you bring him in here and and, and count the tvs and come front on of inside we have a game that we play on this show <laughs> it's just so we could see where you're at if you could please come on in the studio and count how many tvs you see yeah give him the mic and and really point and count yeah let's count, see e point to each tv and count yeah one two three oh. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, keep in mind, we have two offices here, mm -hmm. and each of those offices has two flat screen TVs. A grand total of 12. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. I actually forgot about it. those three. They just yeah, I know. Forget I forget they're there. they're there. I forget about these. <laughs> make, sure those, make sure everyone understands that we demanded this. Yeah, we demanded coming to Sirius, we said. At least twelve TVs to start. Yes. Well, start. Makes, and the, and these trying times in the economy it makes sense. <laughs> we got twelve TVs. Well, what are sports guys going to watch on TV? Huh? Well, we we don't only watch sports. I mean, we watch oh. what's going on with you know. But we are you know. Count how many different channels we use the twelve TVs on. Well, right now, Fox Five, CNN, Fox News. <laughs> So that's three. Hank Williams Sr. Nice. Mm -hmm. Sam, can you explain why we have them in different positions? See, we have <laughs> uh, just the three channels, but we have eight TVs in the studio plus the four in our office because the talent of the show doesn't like to strain their necks. Yeah. Makes sense. Say thanks. It yes. does. Say look, he look, look at this. Look at this. No, you don't want to Ow. spin. Yeah. Ow. You don't and, want and that. You don't want to spin uh, it. Uh, right over uh, here. Uh, ah. See, there's where it is. That's looks. perfect. Yes. Right. And your and your stool swivels to boot. You don't have a you don't have yeah, chairs well. that swivel? We have no, an intern no, that swivels too. <laughs> <laughs> what what Sam? The what? talent did not see your strike because they were each watching one of our 12 TVs. <laughs> and they saw it. Uh, by the way, um, I, I did get some intel. I can't tell me, I can't say who told me this one. We're, we'll call it an anonymous source. An anonymous horse? Remember Alex Bennett yesterday? Yes. Yeah. Had a little problem with him. He certainly did. I think he shut his mouth, which is very smart on his part. Um, this is alleged. Okay. Something else I learned about this place. Uh -huh. Something I started doing today for the first time in years because I learned this. He spilled coffee on his <laughs> Did you really? <laughs> he spilled his coffee. You, you <laughs> fucking <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Sorry. Um, it's all over his pants. <laughs> I'm listening to Old Child. Talk, and I'm drinking, and I just kept my cup tipped at drinking <laughs> angle as I put it back on the table. You, you I don't, don't know why I didn't lift it up. You don't know. I, I, I know I'm a bore. No, I was. I, 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 I know. I was actually listening I'm to not you. Not stupid. I'm a bore. That's you fell bore. asleep and you you spilled your coffee. You fell asleep. <laughs> no, I was actually listening so intently I forgot to lift my yeah. cup back up. You have to lift it back up before you pull it away from your mouth. I know. I'm so arrogant. I spent the whole world to turn when I needed to. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what's the intel? Alex Bennett alleged is allegedly known. This is allegedly. 
I don't need a human resources meeting. Uh, he's allegedly known for shitting and not wiping. They have something here at Sirius XM called his underwear. <laughs> 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 well, wait, the intel I got was a little different than this, so we might have to like uh, get a get a little more a little intel. more investigation. Because I heard uh, it's shitting and then not wiping your hands. Wait, no. uh, cleaning your hands. Excuse Wa me. Not washing your hands. Washing, right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Still going with the wiping here, but this is saying he uh, he shits and and doesn't wipe. Now we have How to go. How would someone find this out? We have to go back to our spy and 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 make sure this is correct. He definitely is shitting. Well, <laughs> we know that much. <laughs> yes, for three hours so. a day. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Another assist for me, John Stockton. So. Look out. Um, no, so he's definitely shitting. And it's either he doesn't wipe, I don't know how they would know that, but we're yeah. going to try to get more info, mm. or he doesn't wash his hands. And there's something here at Sirius called the brown list. It's an official thing they do. The brown and list? And I found this out yesterday, and oh. I am cleaning like a motherfucker. How? And it's I rarely wash my hands. Rarely. The brown list. The brown list? What now, kind of fascist thing is this that they're the running? The brown list. And it's called the brown list. And people know. And they secretly go, oh, he's, he's on the brown list. He doesn't, and it's people that don't wash their hands so after no, they... So if, if people don't attempt to shake your hand, that they think you're probably on the brown I list. I see. Here's what happens. Wow. People watch other people yeah. walk out of the shit factory stalls and leave the bathroom. So they realized they didn't wash their hands. After taking a dump. And they know that they were in the fucking bathroom stall, so they put them on the brown list. Oh. So maybe somebody observed this person leaving the bathroom stall without washing his hands. Washing. Washing. <laughs> and uh, they said, this guy don't wash his hands, and he's on the brown list. Brown list. Yes. It's cool. Ooh, that brown list. That doesn't sound like a good list to make. No. What can I don't brown want to be do on the you? brown list. <laughs> No. So maybe it's just washing uh, the hands. Yeah, afterwards. I would think it's washing because that would be hands. something you could anyone could see if you're in a bathroom. Uh, yeah, you know, guy leaves the stall. I like it. It's like some kind of fucking, you know, like your neighbor spies on you. Mm -hmm. They smile, give you a nod, but meanwhile they're going back and and ratting you out. How about this? It's like Stalinism. N none of us wash our hands after we shit. We this whole show should be on the brown list by <laughs> Friday morning. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get brown sharpies and just <laughs> fucking color in our hand. <laughs> <laughs> Screw that! Just dig into the toilet, squish it around like silly putty, and walk I, out. I already make pie out of it and throw it to each other. <laughs> Jamie and I already measured our taints, and we didn't fucking wipe. Not uh, exactly. I mean, uh, uh, wash. No, I didn't wash my hands we after didn't that. Wash. Ew. Is Sam out there? Sam. 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 All right. What the fuck does that lady from CNN have on her lip? The Asian woman in the blue shirt. Where's Sam? What, a mustache? No, she has something on her right lip. Really? Holy a, a shit. No, it looks like a herpes sore. Ew. It's probably, uh, oh, a, it's probably a mole or some shit. Um, Sam, you're not supposed to be in here. Are they ready for me? Well, they're all looking for you. Do you want to do it after the bit? Are you ready for the shit factory bit? Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, he says. All right. Hell uh, yeah. You know about the brown list? Yeah. Have you heard about? What do you know about the brown list? Yeah, I heard a certain somebody was on the brown list that we were talking about yesterday. Well, we already gave it Who out. did you hear about? Uh, like, What is the brown list? Yeah. It is the official definition I heard That is... station over there? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was laughing at a similar joke. <laughs> <laughs> it's making a number two and then not washing your hands. Worsen. Oh. What, I'm sorry. How long have you been working for this show? Warsh. It's Warsh. always Warsh. Wow. Warsh. So if you... <laughs> holy <laughs> shit. Oh. So if you take a dump and don't wipe, uh, wash your hands, yes. you're on the brown list. My dick is on that list. <laughs> <laughs> now, who rats you out? <laughs> well, I think there's like a network of people here that one person will see you and not say anything... But then they'll tell their friend, and they'll tell their friend, and it goes from cubicle to cubicle. But who is in charge of the list? I don't know. Is it an actual list, or is it this just network of, of gossip about people? Well, I know there's a network of gossip. I have not gotten to the bottom of who is in charge of the physical list. 
Maybe we should post it in here. I want to know if there's a physical <laughs> list. And, and, and if, if not... Yes, there should be one, at least one person that knows everyone that's on the list. Yeah. So we should it on inquire to them and post the brown list <laughs> on the, the wall. Oh, I, absolutely. I wish to be on it um, because <laughs> not only will I not wipe after I shit, but I didn't wipe after I swipe my fingers like a credit card through this fucking, my sharded oh. cheeks. <laughs> sharded. <laughs> you, you should come out of the stall with a duty mustache. <laughs> that's a list I'd be proud to be on. How do you like them apples? Brown uh. listers? <laughs> The brown list. Jesus, uh, it's contagious. I just spilled muscle milk all over my crotch. <laughs> Ew. Ew. <laughs> muscle milk. That's great. Ugh. All right. How about after the break, we'll do the shit factory bit? It'd be funny if by the time we came back, your balls had grown three inches. <laughs> <laughs> muscle milk humor. <laughs> A little muscle milk humor. 